More than 6,000 Palestinians are held in Israeli prisons. The number is at its highest level in years and Palestinians are holding demonstrations on Sunday to show solidarity with the prisoners. Let's take a closer look now. Karim Jubran, who is the director of field research at Beth Salem, an Israeli non-governmental organization, joins us live from Jerusalem with more on this story. Thank you very much for your time today, Karim. Now, how many Palestinians are held in Israeli prisons? And what is your biggest concern about the way these people are treated? Uh, there are more than uh, 6,000 uh, prisoners. Uh, some of them, they are... Uh, uh, spending uh, uh, more than 10 years and some of them more than 20 years. Uh, all these uh, prisoners, most of these prisoners, they have uh, very uh, un-humanitarian conditions in their uh, prisons. But uh, we would like to talk about uh, part of the prisoners, which is a very uh, interesting and very dangerous and very, uh, it doesn't uh, agree with the international standards of uh, law, which is the administrative uh, detention. Uh, which is uh, collect about, uh, according to the last uh, statistics given from the uh, prison's uh, authority in Israel, uh, there are more than 630 prisoners holding in an administrative detention. That means that these prisoners they are uh, uh, in a prison without a trail and without uh, any charge in the uh, courts. And uh, they uh, hold them for uh, uh, months and uh, sometimes for years without any trail and without to know uh, for what they charge them and for what they push them in the uh, prison. And uh, this uh, uh, part of, uh, of uh, uh, the prisoners are uh, must unlawful uh, or oh, uh, uh, must uh, dangerous and it doesn't agree with the international uh, standards of law. Uh, the right of a prisoner to have uh, 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 a justice uh, uh, court, uh, to have a lawyer and mm. to defend himself uh, uh, against uh, inside the, the court. Uh, these prisoners, they didn't have this uh, right and even uh, uh, everything is unclear for them. They can be pushed for um, uh, years without to know when yeah. they will be released and how uh, long they will spend yeah. inside the prison and including their families. They don't mm. know uh, their future, ab about their future. Yeah, so there's, there's clear administrative problems, uh, but so, from what I understand, there's also concerns over the, uh, the treatment of, of prisoners as well, uh, especially in terms of children uh, within the judicial system. Uh, and, uh, Human Rights Watch has said that this is being violated by international law. Why do you think that Israel behaves in this way, especially regarding the administrative detention? Uh, all this is the, the military system of, uh, of courts, including the dealing with the kids, the arresting of uh, the kids, it doesn't agree with the, the international standards of uh, the uh, uh, justice and uh, uh, a legal dealing with the, the uh, prisoners. Uh, even uh, uh, in the uh, arrests of the kids, they broke also the Israeli laws. According to the Israeli law, any kid is supposed to, to have, uh, 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 when you investigate him, you must uh, investigate him in front of his uh, father or his mother or his lawyer. But uh, most of these are, it doesn't uh, agree with that. Uh, uh, there is, in, even in the Israeli law, 
uh, uh, paragraph which says that it, uh, you don't have to arrest uh, uh, kids uh, from their uh, houses late in the night. Uh, most of the arrests of the kids, the Palestinian kids, we say, that it became in the night, uh, very late in the night. Kids uh, of 14 years, even 13 years, they pushed in the jail for a long time and uh, they threatened them very bad during the investigation and during uh, uh, talking them from their houses to the investigation centers, uh, including uh, uh, very hard violence from the side of the soldiers, not only the investigators. Uh, we call many times as a human rights organization mm. to stop this policy and to change these policies, especially yeah. uh, for the kids, for uh, uh, the dealing with the, the kids' issues. Uh, but all the mm. time we uh, faced a, a very closed uh, doors from the side of the authorities, and that's why we see that uh, the number of the kids uh, uh, holding inside the uh, uh, prisons mm. is uh, going up and up. And uh, just before uh, uh, okay. uh, a month, we talk about the youngest uh, prisoner, a girl which is 12 years old. She pushed for four yeah. months in the, inside the Israeli prisons. Yeah, okay, right. So, Karim, I think we'll have to leave it there. We really appreciate your insight uh, to, to this important day for those uh, Palestinians. Thank you.